Hey everyone, how you doing today? My name is Gilbert and I'm with Interactive Utopia and today we're gonna be uh, working in another uh, with another Google API which is a Cloud Vision API. It's the one that's gonna allow you to send a photo, it's gonna read it and then it's gonna let you know if there's any text in there and what the text is, okay? Uh, so first of all, again, my name is Gilbert. I'm with Interactive, Interactive Utopia. If you need any help with your projects, please do let me know and I'm here to help you out. Uh, you can find this code in uh, GitHub, uh, github.com forward slash Gilberto Cortez. I got a project there named Google APIs with PHP and you'll find the code for the different APIs that we've been working with. And you can also find the videos on my channel, uh, which if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. So this is basically what we're going to be doing. Uh, we send an image. It's going to tell us the text that, are, that it's there and it's going to tell us the location. I did a little bit extra and, you know, kind of mark them on the image. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, you don't have to do that. It just depends on your project. Uh, the way that it works is we just upload an image and then we send it over to the backend on PHP. It, it sends a request to Google, it does its thing, sends us, sends us a, some JSON back and that's how we can uh, put it together. Uh, so if you need information on how to do it, you can go to the Google documentation. They do have a guide and they have some reference information in there. I'll put the links down below. Uh, uh, then, guide is not really that convincing the reference is really good but the guide you know it's good to read but you're gonna have to do some tweaks in order for it to work so just keep that in mind um, so let's get to the code all right let's get started so everything's gonna get started on a basic HTML page it's just a page that it has a form we gotta put an image and we're gonna send it over to the back end uh, so this all this section right here is just CSS styling to make it look a little nicer uh, for you guys and then uh, the form is just regular form uh, sending it as a multi-part form data as post uh, we just have an input file and the um, uh, and uh, input that is you know for the file upload and then just the button for the submit all right uh, once it's submit it's going to send it over to processing.php so we go over here to processing.php and this is where the beauty of the code starts uh, the top is very standard i use session to uh, store my um, server session to store my my keys uh, so we're going to need to need to access them i turn on all error displaying that way it's easier for us you know if there's any errors it'll let us know and this right here it's just what you can find if you go to the guide um yeah this is the guide it kind of gives you if you go to rest should give us the here we go so it tells us you know how the curl request should be made uh so i just copied and pasted that that way we have um some information you can put a project id there if you want but basically you want to be sending your um, access token um, letting them know it's JSON that you're sending them and then of course send the JSON over and this is the URL that we're gonna have where we need to send it to how we're gonna do that I use curl that's you know one of the easiest way there's some net uh, frameworks out there that tend the people say it's better I like going straight to the source uh, you know in case frameworks fail so curl is always there to help uh, curl server that's just one of the um, a class that I created to make everything easier uh, you can find it on the, on the github uh, it's just basically a curl call it's pretty pretty standard so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to make sure that there is a, re um, a request sent you know there's post data data that has been sent from there uh, we're gonna make sure the image file has been sent over and it exists uh, and there's no error. Uh, if we're all good to go, then you know the image pad is basically gonna get we're gonna get the name of the uh, of the image. We're gonna get the content of the image. It's a file get contents, and then we're gonna encode it as base fix sixty four. Uh, if you read the documentation or the guide, it'll let you know it's it's a base 64 encoded image. So we just need to read the image, encode the image, and send the image over. Uh, and we need to do that because we can't just send you know over via you know like the, the, the uh, basic uh, bits for the image because it's it's just not gonna work. So you need to encode it. 
So uh, now that we have the image submitted and and we stored it on a variable pretty much as base64 encoded, then we need to do our call. All we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna start a new um, object of curl, a new initiation of it. We're gonna pass the the only thing that it asks for us is the access token uh, that that we retrieve. Look at the video before if you don't know how to get the access token. I have one specially for that, and the code is all on GitHub as well. Uh, so we pass the access token over to our curl connection. That way, it creates the the connection with that. It sets the headers. And then uh, we need to set the parameters for the call. Basically, we're going to be sending some JSON over to Google. That's how everything's going to get delivered, and they're going to send us some JSON back. So this is the JSON that we needed to send. There's other ways of doing it. Uh, I just, you know, I like writing it because I know I, I see exactly what's going on. But you can create like an object and then encode it and so on. Uh, but in this case. Uh, and I'm just writing it down and basically all that we're doing is uh, there's a request uh, array section uh, which contains two things the image and the features the image is basically uh, under content it's the image uh, on 64 encoded so that's all you need to put in there and features then you just you, you want to let them know what you're doing and what model to use there's different things how many the maximum amount of words you want to get things like that you can read all that in the documentation basically we're doing text detection in this case and we want the latest model there's the stable model there's uh there's different ones so you can read documentation on that one as well so we have our parameters and the, all that we need to do is do that post request with curl uh, we send the URL where we needed to to make the curl request to, and then we send their parameters that they need to be sent over along with that request. And that request is gonna receive some information, which is a response, and we're just gonna be saving it on a variable, which is called response. Um, as I save that response in the server session because sometimes when I'm doing some code debugging, uh, if I don't want to be making a call each time that I want to, uh, you know, a call to Google each time that I'm fixing or tweaking a little a little piece of code. So if I am doing any like code like right now for showing the image and things like that, which is handling the response, then I'll just save it to, the, to a session variable, comment out uh, the code that makes the actual call, and I can kind of work on on the response that I already saved on the server, and then. Um, after it's saved, then I just basically save it as JSON response because that's that's what we're gonna be using. I have some uh, print Rs, print, print uh, functions in here. Just basically when I'm debugging, I print, like to print out stuff to see what's coming out of there. Uh, but by this area right here, I'll show you what we get. So the response, let's uncomment that. So if we go to here, and we're just gonna set an image, upload an image, and this is, oh, so right now I haven't been uh, using it for a while, so I need to log in once again. So give me one second, and then we should it should be able to work now. Here we go. Uh, it was just, you know, my session got, uh, it expired, so we just needed to create a new session. So basically, this is going to be the object that you receive, uh, which is, you know, you get the, or the JSON, uh, you get, um, you know, the, the word, this is like the whole thing that it says in there, and then it's location, and then it's like the first word, the second word, third word, and it gives you all the information. Um, so let me comment that out again. So now if we refresh this, you can see, you know, it basically all the information, I just use it to um, create, to, to be able to display it. And with that JSON, I, let me show you what I do. So I, I, I create an image that has all the bounding boxes in there. So I'm reading the image that we submitted uh, and storing it again as a variable. And then I'm gonna do uh, for each loop on the response that I received to basically get it all the um, 
get all the locations, all the X and Y coordinates that it's giving me, the word that, it, that it's giving me, and then I can use that to draw a rectangle on the image that we already have. Uh, and then I save the location and the words that it's given onto uh, an array, uh, and that's what I'm displaying to you. Uh, once I save that, then I pretty much save the image as, uh, as a variable, uh, in this case, image underscore base 64, and that is what I am printing or echoing in the HTML. Uh, so yeah, basically down here is just basic HTML, image uh, tag, letting it know, you know, it's a, JPEG image base 64 and then providing the code for it, which is what's displaying it. And then I'm going through the loop where we store the words and the uh, location of each one and um, just uh, displaying it or showing it uh, for, for you to, you know, for us to, to know what it was. Because the first time I just did the image with the bounding boxes, but then I was like, well, I need the words. So I, I made it so that it displays that. So with this, you can post any type of image. It'll give you the, the text back and then you can do whatever you want with that text. If you needed to do, I don't know, if maybe people use it to read like business cards uh, or if you want to like scan documents and read them, you know, there's there's different things that you can use this for. Uh, you can take a picture of something, you know, maybe uh, some notes and it'll read your notes and that way you can pass them over to your to your uh, application. So there's uh, many, many, many different ways of using this. So I hope that it, you like it. I hope that it's, it's simple and that you're able to use it for your projects. If you have any questions, please do let me know. I'm here to help out. And uh, yeah, I hope that you like the video. Again, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.